good stuff in the game. It just gets covered with shit. I just hope to clean that off. And yeah, see, we're next to the mid. Knew it. Fucking knew it. As the day going, first game of the day. Don't hard int mid. Yes, please don't. That sounds like a good idea. Neck, really scary chant. Yeah, no, I agree. That is a scary thing. He'll know where they start, and then he can potentially go and steal it. Good call. I'm just gonna hang out here. I'm not gonna leash for him. He doesn't need it. I am worried though, because right. Well, at least the good news is we do have a three carry call. Which means we have three sources of damage on the team, which means our jungle doesn't need to be one of them. However, it does mean that early in the game, the Avern needs to basically arrive at the right moments to be able to have any impact in the lanes. And if a lane's going badly, he can't really turn it around. Avern doesn't have enough damage to do that. I'm sorry, what was that, buddy? Whoa! Whoa there, buddy! I'm sorry, huh? You're trying to fight an Urgot at level 1? Are you crazy? Well, I guess this could be a nice, easy gank. Uh, wow. Um, hmm. That was not what I was expecting at all. He actually ward. Oh no. Ah! Oh, fuck's sake. I needed to take one more shot. I thought that auto was gonna have him. I didn't have the shotgun ready. That's my bad. That is absolutely my bad. We could have gotten that. No, he's right. That's absolutely my fuck up. I, I did screw that up. I mean, there's still an advantage that was just made in topside. But, that could have been much better. And our bot side just lost out. Well, he's burning through his mana pretty fast. He's not done much damage to me. I do not like the current wave position, though. Hmm, I'm burning through too much mana now. Why does it do so much damage? Jesus Christ. Why does that do so much damage? Just chunked off about 40% of my health with two point and click cubes. I can't even approach him now with that. And, and look at his mana now. He actually has more mana than before he threw those things off. Uh, and I can't do anything about this. I just have to play safe. It sucks that a champion that's ostensibly supposed to be late game only has such bully potential early on against melee champions. Yes, Urgot is a melee champion. 
I have much less range than Gangplank. I can't even walk up right now. Wait, what am I doing? Wait, what? Why did that just disintegrate? I didn't get a chance to shoot it. But yeah, I, I have nothing I can do right now. I can't even walk up to farm. Ugh. I'm missing everything. I have, to, I have to use my E and back away. Alright, let me just go get some armor. He had a teleport. Let me do the same. Let's just do this. Ah, oh, I can't do it. Couldn't quite do it. I needed more than just one more auto attack. Otherwise, I would have gone for it. Now I'm the one denying him. He needs to back. Is he actually gonna try and stick around? I have Ghost. I can I can insta-jib him. Ah, oh, he just leveled up. He just hit six. He just fucking hit six. Ah. Uh, wow. Uh okay, things are going well for my team. Hold on a second, why? Why did the turret aggro on me? Hold on a second, why did the turret just aggro on me? I didn't attack him. I don't have Bramble S. I don't understand. Why did the turret just aggro? I popped a Ghost and started running at him. He hit me with his Q and then the turret aggro. The shotgun. Did the shotgun hit him? Ugh. Oh god, that's terrible if it did. Well, whatever. I'll survive. Um, I need to get Tabby. I need to get Death Stance. In that order. Ugh. Fuck's sake. That shotgun just ruined everything. I could have definitely gone for it and killed him. Landing my E would have essentially been instantly fatal. But whatever, my team's doing well. Four kills on the rise already? Holy shit. That's really good. I'm way behind, but... Mm. Can't do it. Yes! No! No! All that hard work, whatever, they got an extra kill. <laughs> the moment of triumph when you survive. The moment of anguish when Echo hops over the wall and kills you. Oh, whatever. All together worth it. We did manage to get the kill. <laughs> All good. If I'm the only casualty from that play, all good. <laughs> did he kill me with the smite? Did he? Oh my god, did he? <laughs> I was very low. I'm trying to figure out whether he actually shielded me or not. It looked like he shielded himself. It looks like the triumph field was just enough to allow me to survive the turret shot. Hmm. Your opponent got a three-man game. Yeah. The rise did come help to dumpster, but... Wow, it still hit me up. 
Thing is, the Rise is already really fed, so the smartest thing he can do is help get other lanes fed. So this is a net. Yeah, see, look. He's he's helping all the other lanes. Uh -huh. Oh, Gangplank just threw his R down there, didn't he? Which means in Ghost is up in eight seconds. I can oh, he's got a double. He got a fucking double buff from a round the world gank. Are you kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? He presses R somewhere else around the map and gets double. Cool. I mean, that's actually a skillful use of his ability. So I'm not knocking that. But boy, is that frustrating. Arm. And until I'm level 9, I can't really compete with his barrels. And I certainly can't compete with a blue buff gangplank. Anytime I get within range, he pops me. Every one of those cues at this point with Sheen now will hit me for well over 200 life. Ugh, oh, god, I'm missing farm even now. I'm farming terribly. I am so far behind. Hopefully he just went back to buy. Give me a moment, Red Spit. Oh, only a red buff. Wait. So he got the red buff and blue buff separately? Thankfully, I did notice the echo before the gangplank committed. If it, if the gangplank, he was actually playing that correctly, baiting me in. If I didn't spot the echo at the corner of my eye, I would not have ran when I did, and I certainly wouldn't have popped ghost. I saw, I saw the echo, popped ghost, ran. An enemy has been slain. But this is fine. I, I just let my teammates carry me on this one. This lane sucks no matter what. So I'm just gonna ride it out. What do I? <laughs> Top lane doesn't matter. Top lane is just a viewing gallery for the lanes that actually do matter, like the jungle and the mid lane, which currently on our side are doing fucking amazing things, including the Avern. Oh, I did not have faith in the Avern, but this Avern has shown me that sometimes they can do something. Crap. Whew. Scary. Scary! Yeah, I just hit 9, so I thought I'd be able to put up a decent fight, but without Ghost, I wasn't going to be able to make anything work. Oh, no, he's screwed. I have to back. I'm just not strong enough to do anything right now. That. Oh my god, he killed him! Oh my, look at that fucking damage! He has a full Archangels and two pen items. I see. Dang, my teleport did not help out at all. Unfortunately, the Avern died before I got there. I needed some extra oomph to do anything. And fuck, he got an even bigger advantage. He's gonna have a full Triforce on in his next back and me. I'm building pieces at this point. He's gonna have the most expensive item in the game. Because remember, Gangplank, he gets bonus gold when he farms. So the fact that he has a CS advantage, it's more than just that. Oh god, and I didn't even get the plate before the plates fell. Damn. Well, that's annoying. The one thing I could have gotten right there was a plate or two, and nah. 14 minutes roll around. Damn. Unfortunate timing. God damn it, the other... I started shooting at the other barrel. I was trying to get within range to use my W on the previous one. Great. And yep, there it is. Full Triforce. 
Well, yeah, I just need to sit under my turret. Let my team carry me. There's really nothing I can do in this lane anymore. Oh god, that still hits me. Look at the fucking range on this nonsense. And look at the damage on this nonsense. Even when I manage to dodge his barrels, his Q still hits me for 300 damage. Yeah, I'm not, I don't have teleport, so I'm just going to take this turn. Or not. Oh shit, that's a lot of damage. Whew, nearly got him. So I need to run. I nearly got him! Amazingly enough. Holy shit. I'm surprised the Echo managed to do as much damage as he did there. <sighs> Scary. Um, let's get this. I need more tankiness, it seems. What the hell happened to the team? Oh, wow, the Lucian has a lot of kills. And the Gangplank has apparently picked up quite a few kills. This is not going well. I mean, I've managed to hold strong in my lane. Sure, I haven't been farming too well, but I'm, I've only died once. My turret's gone. That's unfortunate. But altogether, I've managed to mostly not fuck up too terribly. I'm getting a little worried now that they've picked up just too many kills. And until I get some kills on my own, I'm not going to be strong. Oh, I can beat this guy. This guy I can beat. Oh, he's got a Blade of the Rune King. Maybe I can't. I am not as... How am I not as rich as him? That's actually really sad, isn't it? Well, whatever. I am higher level than him, and maybe that's enough. I have to back. We can try that. This thing's dying fast. Holy shit, it's gone. I didn't think it was gonna die that fast. Right, I'm just gonna clear the wave. So the Renekton's sticking around up here. The Talia was close. the rise was coming to help me, not the bard. Holy shit, that was a lot closer than it needed to be, but good. Good enough. Good enough. I just needed a little extra oomph there to make it work, and the bard was just enough. I thought I was getting rise support, though, so I was being a lot more brazen. Otherwise, I would have eat into him instead of letting him jump into me. I thought it was going to be a much easier fight. Okay. So there. Now at least I got Death Stance. Now I got the most critical item in my build. Which is the first offensive item, whether that's Steph's stance or Cleaver doesn't matter. It just needs to be one of them. And I finally have it. And I'm post uh, I'm post level nine, so finally I'm strong. And yes, I have seen the new Zack skin. It looks really cool. Uh oh. Ah uh, shit, I'm too late. Oh what the I got blasted out! I gotta be careful. Ooh, good shot.
shot. I thought I had my R up. And unfortunately, two people were dead by the time my TP went through. At least now I can heal up and now I can fight, but... There goes a very long cooldown. Vision. Oh, god damn it. Yeah, he canceled out my flip. Oh. Just trying to heal. Oh my god, he's alive! Uh, I'm not sure we can do Baron right now. Oh, we do kind of have the Avern thing. Maybe we can do this. Actually, we're killing it really fast. Oh shit. But we'll be able to come back and save the turret. The Renekton is fully committed to giving this up. Cool. We lost a bit, but we, I think we gained much more than we lost. Um, I think I want to go the Righteous Glory route. It looks like they don't want a team fight, and this this is the item to go for if we want a team fight. I don't, it doesn't look like they win a team fight. The Rise is just a fucking wrecking ball. 14 and 3. Holy shit. We really should be pushing off. Ugh. Wow, the bar just insta jibbed. Got him. Well, that's a worthy kill. Yeah, we needed to pull it. I didn't even realize the Talia was in range. Oh god. He's dead. Oh my god, he's not! I'm acting as bodyguard, but I'm not. I'm not going any further. I'm not strong enough. Ugh! They got the dragon, that's unfortunate. And that Rift Herald was wasted. It needed to go into a lane that we can at least have priority on and then go to dragon. That way we at least would have gotten a charge out of it. Didn't even get a charge. The Renekton's not even trying to help the steam. Star Guardian or guy, you like it. I actually do really like this skin, even though I think they could have done a better job. You know, just call it for what it is. Instead of Pajama Party, it's Star Guardian. Yes. Okay. Well, the Rise is, um, well, I think Fed's the Ah, oh, fuck, just a little too late. Couldn't quite position myself in time. Oh, wait, he wants to go aggro? Uh, okay, he left. He left, okay. I thought he was going further in, not out. Because the bard had set up an exit. Oh, my God. Yeah, let's just get out. He's going to go stop the Renekton. and I hope the bard's okay. Let's just... 
I'm fine. I got potions. I got death stance. I can stick around. Ugh, we're getting pushed back here. Oh, boy. He's out. Oh, cool. I actually killed that in time. Hmm. <laughs> Fucking echo burst. Fun stuff. Oh. It would have been nice if it landed, but I don't think I could have made anything happen. I'm screwed. I'm screwed. Yeah, I'm screwed. Holy shit, the slows! Yeah, Glacial Augment. I mean, that's the thing, if my, I was, you saw, I was barely off from hitting. If he had taken the slightest step further forward, he would have died. Unfortunately, yeah. The teleport is ready. But yes, he's right, we gotta play around the rise. I actually should just shadow him. He's absolutely right. Yeah, that's probably the right play. Because at this point, it would take more than one of them to kill me, I think. I am strong enough for that. The Renekton's 081, there's no way he can take me, right? He does have two completed items. And those are good ones. Time to find out. Hey there, how you doing? I'm here to defend this. And thank you so much for that subscription. Fatane Carn. Thank you. Thank you so much. I don't have vision. I've got no vision right now. I have to keep an eye on the team. You know, let's go. Ugh, can't get him. Well, whatever. Oh no. Am I too late? Oh. Fucking kidding me. Well, I had that cancel. He actually went into the brush after me. Smart, smart fucking croc. Oh, oh he's dead. Uh, you killed yourself, buddy. You don't beat me. Look, you're 0-8. You're don't even try, dude. Don't even try. You, you stopped the teleport, unfortunate. You know what's fortunate? My team still won. So good job, you stopped me from teleporting and killed yourself. I'm sorry, this Croc's just not strong right now. And Urgot scales much harder than Renekton, so... Um, yeah. He ran into the brush and stopped my teleport, like an ass. And then he tried to fight me 1v1 and lost, like an ass. Should be taken. What out? Or just murder quickly. Or just murder it quickly. Wow, I don't know what the hell happened in that team fight. Where the four people on my team killed all four of them without dying. I don't know what happened there, but damn, damn.
And that Renekton is so weak. Poor guy. I'm sure he's just not used to being this kind of weak. It is unusual for a Renekton. Team loves spam. <laughs> yeah. Well, at this point, I, they need to send more than one person to deal with me. Even, even their gangplank would probably lose in the 1v1 against me. And he's pretty fed right now. Compared to me, he definitely has at least a few hundred extra gold. Uh, wow, the Rise just murdered him. H how is this Rise so fucking strong? Yeah, you don't want to fight me, buddy. You don't want to fight me at all. Your team's now coming. Oh, I got one of them. Good enough. In the 1v2, I still managed to get a kill. Yeah, not afraid. Not afraid at all. I'm sorry, you guys are just weak. If this were a different game, and the Lucian and the Renekton both had a decent amount of kills. It's interesting. The Lucian's actually quite fat. Um, but when I threw the R at him and E'd at him, it startled him enough that he used his one bit of mobility to dash away. When I turned on the Renekton, the Renekton was essentially alone for two seconds because the Lucian had no way to come back. By the time the Lucian got there, Renekton's already a pile of mincemeat. If I had thrown my R at the Renekton instead... There's a good chance I would have died before the reeling in happened. Because the Lucian was very strong and he would have been able to just free shoot at me for the one and a half seconds of the reeling was happening. So, yeah. Mm. And yes, oh my god, the rise. Turns out Avern was a great choice because the rise is literally 1v5ing everybody. I mean, teleport wasn't even up yet, so I couldn't even join in on the fun. I'm coming. I'm coming! I did it! 50 gold! It was me! I blew up the Nexus! I'm the hero. Not Rise, it was me. Fucking Rise 1v5 that game. I'm actually going to say 2v5, because the Avern Shields, I'm sure, were probably one of the biggest reasons why the Rives was able to carry as hard as he did. The Avern was probably tossing a shield on him constantly. I just wasn't usually at the fight, so I didn't see. But I could tell. We're going to... Is there actually a way to find out if it, how much a champion shielded? Because I'd like to see that stat right now. Also, League, I'd like for you to work. One of these days. One of these days. There it goes. See, that's the thing. Sometimes you can't really comment about how badly a champion is designed because the champion's win rate is low or something like that. In fact, I'm sure Ryze is probably one of the lowest win rate champions right now in the game. But then you have games like this, where the Ryze runs over everyone. Nobody can get near him. Nobody can stand in his way because he will kill you so fast and so hard. It's not fair. It's just not fair. Because again, Rise has the same original sin that Riot seems to keep creating in kits ever since the dawn of League of Legends, starting back, back way in the days of Jax and Rise. These were the first champions that were mostly point and click. And they scaled like crazy. And then here we are today. Look at this Rise. 
absolutely destructive. Let's look at this damage. Let's let's have a quick look. How bad what? Oh, okay, yeah, there, there you go. Like, what more do you need to say? It's just in games like this. Yes, Rise is really hard to pilot. Rise is a difficult champion to carry with. Rise is uh, mechanically tough, but when you find a good one and you get into a game like this, it's just not fair. It's it's absolutely not fair. So let me see. Is there a way to see ally shielding? So he shielded 10k. Um, damage. Is there a damage taken? Okay, we'll just look at something to get there. So, I mean... You have to assume that that shielding meant something. And he did a lot of shield. 10,000 ally shield. I, I, it doesn't count himself, does it? Either way. Blade of the Ruin King versus Rise. Um, well, it's Blade of the Ruin King versus anybody. Blade of the Ruin King is a ridiculously good item on any melee champion. And that goes doubly so for any melee champion with auto resets. That goes triply so for any melee champion with auto resets that hit you three times. Or is that two times? Excuse me.